Hey everybody, it's Steph with Killer Sites and other sites. So, in this vlog, I want to talk about learning to code, the fear of learning to code. Somebody emailed me recently, and it's not the first email I got of this type, where they were concerned about whether or not they could actually learn to code. It can seem very daunting, I know, for a beginner because there is so much to learn. Well, it seems like there's so much to learn. You know, you start off, which language do you learn? Do you learn PHP? Do you learn Python? Do you learn JavaScript? Do you learn Java? Do you learn C Sharp? Actually, you have to learn everything. No, you don't. You don't have to learn everything. As I keep emphasizing in many of my videos, the key to all this stuff is concentrating on the basics. That's very important that you learn the basics because whether you end up writing JavaScript code, Java code, PHP, Python, whatever. All these languages share many of the same basic techniques, same basic concepts. So for example, if you learn variables, functions, arrays, objects uh, in JavaScript, you will have learned all these things in PHP, in Java, in Python, in C Sharp, Pick any modern program, programming language and this is what you get. So try not to be so fearful. Try not to feel overwhelmed in terms of what you need to learn. The key is, is finding a good course or a good class where they teach you the key components of development, whether it be uh, for web development, whether it be for uh, Android development, iOS de development, whatever environment you wish to develop in, the key is to figure out what are the key aspects of that. But if you go back a little bit and you just look at basic programming in general, a good course will teach you the key concepts, the key techniques of coding. And I mentioned a bunch of things as well. Uh, as Well, I just mentioned a couple of things a few seconds ago. So and it goes on from there. So try not to be too nervous about it there's two things that you should take away when it comes to learning code number one you don't need to learn everything in fact you need to just learn subsets so i would suggest that uh, if you were uh, doing ios development all you really need to learn is swift right and of course xcode which is the app that apple gives away that allows you to write all your swift code to create iOS apps. If on the other hand you wanted to do web development, you have to learn a little bit more to it. It's actually less complex than it sounds. And you have to learn HTML5, CSS3, and a bit of JavaScript. And then you have a choice from there. You can either choose to go into PHP, into deeper JavaScript, server-side JavaScript, or Python, or Java. These are not things you have to learn. These are things you have a choice of all these different languages. The point is, that you see all these technologies out there, all these frameworks and packages and languages, you don't have to learn all of them. In fact, you don't have to learn much of them. You just have to learn some of them. But most important, you have to learn just the key basics and some key best practices in coding. Best practices is basically um, strategies encoding that you have to implement regardless of the language. Kind of like boxers. When you're boxing, you learn... I did boxing for a while. You, you have to learn. You got to keep your hands up at all times. A lot of people get lazy and their hands go down and you get knocked out or you get hurt. You get your nose broke. I got my nose broke three times because uh, I, I would get lazy. So you got to learn to keep your hands up at all times when you're throwing. And same thing with coding. With coding, there are basic rules, if you will, basic things you have to do. We call them best practices. And these are things you have to learn after you learn the basics. So any good coding course will teach these things, weave them into uh, the basic training as you go through uh, the material. So yeah, so I wouldn't be too concerned about that. A, you don't have to learn everything. And B, um, once you understand all these basics that I just talked about, and a few other little things, but once you learn these things, uh, as a professional developer, you will uh, be learning as you go. But it's, it's expected. It's expected that as you develop projects, you have to learn this. You may have to learn a little bit of this. You may have to 
learn a little bit of that. Let me give you an example. So in my uh, coding career, in, especially in the early years, well, man, yeah, about the early, early years, I was doing a lot of Java work. Well, in the uh, from 96 and up, I was starting to do a lot of Java work. And at first, I would sort of look at everything as being a Java solvable problem. So I go in and say, okay, how can we use Java to solve this client's problems? And when I got more experience, I realized that was the wrong approach. The real approach was to go, what coding language or what environment, what framework out there would be best suited to solve the client's problem? Sometimes I would use Java. Of course, I was, especially in the early years, I was... Um, biased to use Java because that was my favorite language. I knew it the best. But later on, I started learning that, man, sometimes you might have to use some other things. So sometimes I'd look at a project and PHP made sense. Sometimes I'd look at a project and uh, Java made sense. Sometimes other wacky technologies you never heard of uh, would make sense. It really depended on the job. So if I was looking at um, your career. Let's say I was, I was, and you were telling me, well, Steph, I want to be an iOS game developer. So I said, well, it's obvious, obvious solution. You got to learn Swift, right? Uh, but maybe you might say to me, well, I want to develop apps for iOS, business apps, but I also want to do mobile in general. I like to do Java as well. So, so you might think to yourself, I have to learn Swift and Java. If you want to do Android development as well as iOS, I said, no, if you want to just do business apps, then you can do all that pretty easily with the HTML5 stack, that's HTML5, CSS3, and JavaScript. And you can build incredibly complex and beautiful mobile apps for all platforms using those, those languages. And this will save you a lot of time. So you, so you won't have to learn all of Swift and learn all of Java and then learn the APIs. Rather than that, you just do an HTML5 and use a translation layer, something called Cordova is an example, and there are others. Anyway, I'm going down a tangent. The point is, is that in your career, you will have to learn some new things. You will have to adapt yourself dependent on the circumstances that come up. But what you find is as you do more and more projects, as you learn more and more things, your ability to learn new technologies will just accelerate considerably. So I learned this first time actually in martial arts. Now, the first martial arts you do to get to your black belt or the equivalent takes a long time. It takes three, three years to five years, depending on the school, depending on how hard you train and so on. But after that, you will find that you can get up to a very high level in a new style very quickly because you already have that basis. You already have that background. You have the timing. You have the tactics. You know a lot of the body mechanics and a lot of these Martial arts share a lot of techniques, although they look at it from a different point of view. Same thing with coding. If you know Java really well, for you to jump into JavaScript will be pretty simple. For you to jump into Python, pretty simple. For you to jump into C Sharp, pretty simple, and so on and so forth. So don't be too concerned. Don't be too fearful about learning development, learning programming. Just take your time. You reach some bumps at first. Trust me, I'm a nerd who, uh, who was not a nerd to begin with. I know I may look like a nerd, but trust me, my mind was uh, much more of a designer type. So uh, once I just sat down and started writing code and slowly started building little apps and slowly started building medium-sized apps and then building a couple big apps, you know, that's how you learn. You're gonna, it's going to be incremental. And uh, you'll see it just gets easier as you go along. So at first, when you, you first start learning, don't worry about it too much. Just, uh, just keep at it, you know. That's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this vlog on this webcam.